Welcome, welcome. Happy. Welcome back to Tavia Talk. Happy with Tuesday. Tavia and Colin. Tuesday. Tavia Tuesday. Talk with Tuesday. No. Wait, Tavia, what is it? Tuesday Talk with Tavia. Tuesday Talk with Tavia. Even though it's only Tavia Talk on... On Tuesdays. All the websites. Oh. That's okay. That's okay. But we, we upload on Tuesday. So. Got the ice cube. <laughs> Davey is drinking some hot tea right now. <laughs> I'm a little raspy. We can... <laughs> I'm a little raspy. Why are you raspy? You know, I've ever since a year ago, I went on a trip. I went to Cabo. Too much deep throat. No. And I don't know what happened, but I think I like burned some vocals with tequila and hey, you Me too guys. Much, right? Yeah. And so this morning I woke up because it's really dry outside and I was like, ah, we need some tea. <laughs> You just go, it's a little asmr -y. Do you know what that is? No. So ASMR, I don't know what it stands for, but um, I feel like we're really close. <laughs> <laughs> you think I brushed my teeth? We were like, yeah. yeah. Um, ASMR is so, it's, there's like YouTube channels that are dedicated towards like sounds like that. Like people clicking oh, their nails. I know. I like watched- like stirring mac and cheese, which also the, sounds very like, sexual. inappropriate. Mm -hmm. I think I told you that. No, definitely Janelle and Seth are dead. Oh, they made up, they made up. And I probably told you. So, yeah, so I'm just a little raspy, so for you that can only hear me, this is my... Sexy voice. Sexy Demi Moore voice. So we're trying to, because we talk on the phone every day, I think we said this in the last one, but we're trying mm -hmm. to keep some material for the this. podcast. This morning was a doozy. Because usually we talk on the phone every morning. For like an hour. Yeah. So I got... I didn't talk to Colin at all today, and I drove all the way down here and I walked in, and literally we just stared at each other until right. I turned on the camera because I just wanted to talk. Right. Right. So now... Well, and I also feel like we need to address, um, in our last, last week, you were, you, were, you were going on dates. The dates with the guy with the dog. With the dog. Oh, the dog. The dog, remember? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Staying at the ex-boyfriend's house with... Correct. Yeah. Yes. So, so he, did you date? Did you want to date? So he came into town. Uh, we didn't really hang out as much as I thought, which is fine. He wasn't really treating this as a vacation. He was just here to watch the dog so that his, his boyfriend, his baby, his baby, um, to get, you know, his boyfriend could go back and visit Portland. And so we hung out on Saturday night and it was, uh, Samantha, I think, did I tell you this last week? I don't know, but it was Samantha's friend Taylor's birthday. 21st birthday. 22nd. Oh. Even worse. 22nd birthday. <laughs> and so he, I went to go pick him up, and then we went to, they were eating at P.F. Chang's. And... Tough Chang's. Yeah. And uh, so then Devon was with him, so it was Sam, Devon, me, him, and... Um, What's his, him's name? I don't think we should oh, okay. probably say that, but... Um, He's just him. <clears throat> just him. His, him. his, what do they call The... Vab? No, the, um, when you, when you describe somebody, what do they got? Not acronyms, but... Pronouns. Pronouns. He's a him. Him. Anyway, he was... We'll just call him, like, the guy with the dog. Guy with the dog. Guy okay. with the dog. Because the there's... Portland. The guy from Portland. Because this could get really convoluted. Well, remember, because I have something else to say about somebody else. Yeah, because he went on a couple dates. Well... Oh, there's I don't more. know if I want to talk about that. <laughs> anyway, so... What can we talk about He's today? very... He's very cute. He's very sweet. Um, Samantha and Devon loved him. Oh. We went out, so we went Sam to... Sam didn't say a word to me about this. She didn't? No, I didn't. Maybe it just wasn't like a topic of conversation, but she wasn't like, oh my God. Yeah, well, and it's so funny because she's like, I've never seen you with a boy before. So she's like, I'm excited. And I'm like... She's never seen you with somebody? Yeah. Oh. So... I think it's so cute when you're with somebody. Why? I don't know. Do I change? No, I just... just I just love... When the gays. I just she love loves the gays. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we had a lot of fun. We went to... Well, first of all, it was kind of a weird night because... We met them at P.F. Chang's. I had eaten with Sam's sister, Randy, before and went to the movies. Right, right. And then, so I wasn't hungry, so, and he was like, I don't know what he was doing, but we didn't get to P.F. Chang's till like 9.30. Wait, did you guys meet up before P.F. Chang's? I picked him up in an Uber oh. on the way to P.F. Chang's. And then he got in the car and what happened? We just started talking. A to B. Was it like a hug? Yeah. Well, I just started talking. <laughs> he like reached over for a hug and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay. Um, so, 
Yeah, so it's We Must Be of Changs, and then, so the girls, I guess, because it was like 12 girls, 12 blonde girls sitting at this table, and I guess a promoter came over and said, 12 hey. 12 blonde girls and one redhead. Right, yeah. Okay. Uh, Sam's the Samantha, redhead. Yeah. Uh, it came over and said, hey, I want to give you a free bottle at Native. Remember, we were Sounds Native for, for Luke's thing the, in the hotel lobby. So <sighs> Native is a club, but it's in a hotel lobby. Yeah. So anyway, it's so. It's a little weird. Yeah, I think it's bizarre that they have a club. Like, can you imagine your sleeping lobby. upstairs? Yeah, and you're upstairs and you're like, shut up. She's like, boom, 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 until like 2 o'clock in the morning. No. And everybody's just <laughs> drunk <laughs> and screaming <laughs> at each other. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, we went there because they got a free bottle. And then the boys and I, I knew that Devon and um, this kid did not want to say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> say it the straight bar. They wanted to go to the gay bar because he, you know, wanted to experience the gay bars. Because he's gay. And he doesn't want to look at all the girls. Yeah, so right. we went to Charlie's and then we, or no, we went to X Bar and then Charlie's. Yeah. And then we ended I up at Charlie's Tracks. Charlie's closed. No, it's still around. Wow. Oh. Yeah. So, and then we ended up Tracks with the girls were saying, because we were leaving and Taylor was like, no, I want to go to Tracks. I've never been to Tracks. I've been to Charlie's and X Bar. Do you want to go to Tracks? It's the club, it's like the dance club. Oh. Whip you your have hair to be like. Back and forth, whip your hair. It's more like EDM housey music oh. than like top 20. Oh, I prefer top 20. I mean, do you want to go? Would that be an experience? I suppose. What do you wear? Slutty. Normal, normal clothes? No, slutty. Like with my, sweat, and with my sweater? Mm -mm. Oh. Maybe oh. like just the sweater and just panties and <laughs> heels. <laughs> no. No. Um, okay. I actually think you would like it, but. Well, yeah, I had fun at Charlie's. Yeah. I went to Charlie's when I was nine months pregnant. That's accurate. Wasn't it after a Christmas party yeah. or something? So it was in December. <clears throat> nine months pregnant with baby number two. And I was line dancing. I remember that. And I remember being like, ooh, I gotta go. I feel like I'm having a It was over. I was like, I was exhausted. You were pregnant. I was pregnant. I had her like three weeks later. Yeah. Like we were, we were going to pop. Yeah. And I was out there with... You're, yeah, you're And then it. it really all changed, like, when you become uncomfortable, because it's one thing to be at a club, and then you go from line dancing to, like, naked men in thongs on boxes, <laughs> and you're like, I'm in it. I'm in it. But then when you're just huge and pregnant, you're like, maybe I don't fit in. Maybe I don't fit in oh, anymore. Oh, no, I'm sure that they, did they embrace you. <laughs> did anybody touch your belly? I had a lot of belly touches, but I just felt, like, personally, that I was like, well, I think at this moment I've reached my, like... You probably shouldn't Your be in a bar. Arm? Yeah, like oh, okay. now you look inappropriate. Oh, stop. <laughs> now you're. That's on the other side. Now they're like, mind. why is the pregnant chick here? And you're like. And she's twerking she's she's on the floor. I'm she's here. grinding her ass <laughs> on the track. <laughs> Trying to have a baby. <laughs> Trying to have a baby. That's yeah. so funny. I always forget about that. Was that the only gay bar that you've been no, to X with me? Bar. Isn't the X bar the gay bar too? Yeah, when did we go there together? We went there after um, the. When we got kicked out of the Christmas party. <gasps> no, we didn't. Yes, we did. We went to eat food. And then... <gasps> oh, and then we met up with that guy. The guy, the bald head guy yes. that wore the scarves. Yes. And yes, we went yes, yes. there. Oh, my God. And we went pee, and then I got in my first Uber, and I was so scared. That's right. Seriously. That was terrifying. Yeah, she... I mean, I, mean, I feel like it's not that... Like, Uber's... A camp, I mean, there's been a lot of stuff that's happened in Uber's, yeah. you know? So I oh, made sure, I was like, what did I say? I put Get her, her home safe! I put her in the Uber and I like yelled at the driver. That's a fact, he did yell at the driver. And he was like, okay. And I was like, if you're gonna kill me, just tell me now. Like, and then, did we talk on the phone all the way there? Or were no, I talked or? to him. He's, he moved here from, I think it was Turkey. He like, met a girl, like there. Yeah. That lived here. <laughs> and they got pregnant. Was, oh. I like learned his life story because of I course. figured like if I learned his life story, he wouldn't kill me. That's like is that I know assumption. too much about you now. Like right, I've yeah. let you in. So he moved here from Turkey, I want to say it was, to be with the mother of the new baby. She must have been like studying abroad. I'm not sure how she got there and how they met and how the baby. Well, I know how the baby happened, but yeah, you're you're well versed in that. I'm you well have two versed kids. in that. But then he moved here, and now I know that you guys might be shocked, but they are not together. So he's here, but he doesn't really want to be here, but the baby's here. Huh, interesting. I know. I don't remember his name, but 
he was nice and he got me to my house and he waited for me to get in before he left. And I was like, oh, that was nice. Well, or were you trying to like... No, I think you, you're going to a dark place with it. He's being nice. <sighs> I do watch a lot of the criminal shows, so that's I never probably know. not. That's probably not good for your Well, psyche. you know what I think it's good is that I'm going to spot the killer, first of all, before anybody else. And... Oh my God, remember when you took now. that test? Like, are you a psychopath? Oh, I am. Wait, what happened? I forget what the test was. I was like, oh. It, it, you want me to go through the whole thing? Well, yeah, maybe wasn't it people, just a question? Yeah, maybe the people, maybe sure. our viewers want to know if they're a psychopath. No, <laughs> a sociopath. Oh. Ooh, mm, which one was it? Okay. <clears throat> this girl's maybe mom. You should drink some tea before you start okay. this story. There you go. Clear out that throat. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR. There we go. That's ASMR. What we talked about. Oh, right, right, right. The, <laughs> the yeah. clicking. Every time you say it, I think you're saying like ASMR. And I'm like, what is an ASMR? What language is that? Or what term am I missing? So anyways, if you want to know if you're a sociopath, maybe it's a psychopath. We might want to cross-reference this. <laughs> um, this girl. Here's the scenario. This girl's mom died, and she went to the funeral. And while she was at the funeral, she like met, saw the love of her life. Like was just like, oh my god, that's the guy. That's for me. He's mine. And then, obviously, at the funeral, like it was her mom, so she's hosting and sad and dealing with like everybody. So she didn't actually get to like talk to him further. And by the time the funeral reception was over, he was gone. So she was sat right. Then, like three weeks later, she killed her sister. Why'd she kill her sister? See, I don't remember what my answer was. Well, just tell me, me why. Why did she kill it? You just answer normal, well, or do you know it? I kind of remember the answer, so oh. I think that I don't know if I can. So wait, the, let me think about it. So she killed her sister after the funeral. I think I know the answer. I don't think okay, I can say so it. Okay, so I got it instantly. I heard this on the radio and I was like, duh. Wait, what did your husband say first? Because you told your husband <laughs> about it and he had the right answer. Well, no, not the right no, answer, no. But... He did not have the... He's not a sociopath. Yeah, exactly. Psychopath. Exactly. So that was the right But I will tell you this. I told it to my mom and her answer was my answer. Really? Within a second, she was like, boom. And I was like, that's you, what I said. Do you remember Luke's answer though? I think Luke's answer was because the sister was um, dating the guy. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> False. 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 She clearly killed her sister because she knew if this guy knew the family, he would come back to this funeral too, and she would then be able to see him again. Oh my God, that's wild. Crazy bitch. Yeah. So you're, you're, I gotta watch it. I'm scared. I just got a little scared. I literally and said that to And then you watch my... all these weird shows on like how to hide bodies and stuff. Like I No, we watch like Criminal Minds. Up here. We watch Dexter. Well, I just want to be prepared. For what? I, in case I'm saran wrapped, I know what's about to happen. Well, then you can't do anything about it though. I know, but at least I know. Like at least I know what's happening. Yeah. Colin's dog's with us today. He's just watching us like a sad little puppy. He's just sitting over on the couch like a cute little puppy. Okay, how was uh, Lulu's last night? That's that where was you guys good, went? but wait, no, you weren't done with... You went to X Bar or Trax and they liked him. How did it end? Did we snuggle? Did we kiss? Did we exchange numbers? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? We did not... Uh, we, he can't... Uh, well, I don't know. Oh, that's Should like I a lot of like... stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> He did come over. Oh, I also noticed that I touched my hair so much, so I'm just, just I'm trying. Not to? Yeah. Well, okay. half the people, most of the people can't see you see touching you? your oh, hair. Oh, thank God. So it's fine. <laughs> um, Excuse me. <laughs> did okay. you just burp or throw no. it in your mouth? I'm just trying to clear it. Oh, okay. Well, you can't see, but Tavi has 16 drinks here right now. She has a tea, she has a coffee, she has a water. Yep. Yeah. We're trying to get fluids in. Mm -hmm. so anyway, Hydration is the key to beautiful <laughs> skin, first of all. Yo, well, I'm actually impressed with you. You drink a lot of water. At least 100 ounces a day. That's a lot. So anyway, Delicious. so he did come over and um, oh, yeah. we did not fornicate. No. No touchings. No. Did we, we just, just snuggled? Yeah. 
<laughs> I feel like there was more. <laughs> uh, yeah, but no, he's very sweet. And then did we like exchange a number or is it that? Oh no, we had each other's numbers. Do we talk But still, he lives or? in Portland, no. Oh, this was a flick. Yeah. Okay. He's just out here and <clears throat> I mean, maybe he'll be out here again, but it's not like... Okay. Colin did go on another date, but he doesn't want to talk about it, but I think that one went okay. Well, it's just a long and involved story. Like, I've known this guy for a long time. Well, we don't have to get into it. It's just, he was, like, busy dating this weekend. Right. Yeah. And then, so... And then... Yeah. You're gonna laugh. Well, this is not a laughing situation. Oh. It's not that serious, but... So, there's this guy. I go to Psycho Bar. Oh. Here in Denver. Right. So, there's this guy there that I've always thought was very attractive. Uh, and I feel like the first couple times that I saw him... Um, he, like, kind of ignored me a little bit. Oh, bitch. And <laughs> he was going to mess him up. And then... Don't I, even come for you, I Psycho feel like Bar. a Boy. couple weeks ago, he like, was getting water, and he, like, was, like, staring at me. So then I was on... This is so weird how this happens. Does this ever happen to you? Like, you're on Instagram, and you, like, you meet, like, a client or something, and then you see them on your suggested feed? No, but I swear to you listening yeah absolutely all the time absolutely all the time so anyway so he came up on my suggested feed so i added him on instagram he added me back is that a true story or did we look a hundred percent okay okay um so i added him and then he added me back and then so like two days later i messaged him and i said hi and we were chatting but it was very one-sided. I was asking him question after question after question. And I don't know if people don't know how to have a conversation in this day and age where it's like back and forth or if he's just not into it or if he's just kind of into himself or I don't know, but it was not, I just kind of ended it because I was like, well, I, this isn't any fun to have a oh, conversation just all about you, you know? Yeah, we do that all day long. What do you mean? When we talk to each other, we just talk about ourselves. That's like I talk about myself and Colin talks about himself. But we genuinely like care about each other's lives. We ask, we know what's going on. We're like, hey, what's going on with that deal? Or hey, what's going on with the kids? Or like, hey, why aren't you answering my phone call? Right, yeah. All Saturday morning. What could you possibly be doing Yeah. from 9 a.m. to 4 on Saturday that you don't answer my calls? Right. Do so you like to share that? We shall never know. So what is your take on him on this conversation? Do you think he's I not that into me? I feel like he just is like one of those people who wants like followers, maybe. You think? I don't know, because did you say you saw him at Psycho Bar? Like, does he yeah, know? I did. Okay. Yeah. And what is his response? But then why would he add me back if he just wanted followers? Oh, so he's following you? Yeah. Maybe he was busy. You know, I like to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. And he you was always busy, get so he so... couldn't ask me a question about my life and get to know me. Listen, I think. The boy world is just really complicated. Tavia would flounder if she was... <clears throat> oh, if I had to date right now, I wouldn't, first of all. <laughs> I would just live alone. I'm fine with it at this point. I would be like, so we went on a date. Are you into me? I'm into you. Where should we go from here? She would be a stage five clinger. Oh I my God. I just don't understand that like everybody has their phone in your hand. Right. At we know times. your right. phone is in your hand. Yeah. So why is it that I text you and right. you wait six hours right. to say yeah. sure that works for me right what game are we playing it's, it's annoying a lot of games it's a, it's annoying like if i say do you want to get coffee it's just a yes or no i know your phone's in your hand it's in your hand yes no not six hours later because i don't want to get coffee with you at five o'clock i wanted to get coffee yeah. with you at nine o'clock right when you and Luke were dating, well, you guys dated in high school. Yeah, so we didn't have text messaging. We talked on the phone. He had which, to call my house phone. Which you like to do anyway. I do like to talk on the phone. I prefer it. Yeah. But they met in high school, so they're high school sweethearts. Mm-hmm. Very Disney. Sorry. Very <laughs> Disney. How long have you guys been together? Since 2002. 2002. 17 years. And then you're having your 10-year marriage anniversary, right? 10-year wedding anniversary this right. year. And it was 17 years together in December. That's crazy. Wild. We've been together longer than we were ever apart. Because we met at 16. Right. And now we've been together for 17 years. Wow. That's so cool, though. Is it? Tavia. 
No, well, I love Luke. He's the best. He is. He's so He's sweet. He's an angel sent from God. He's so patient. 21 days after my birth. Yeah. I I'm need to find here. something. Oh, wait. I meant to ask you. So what is his um, sign? He's an Aries. Okay. So the boy from Portland was an Aries. Yeah. So if you read about Pisces and Aries, we really, like, it's not that we don't gel. Yeah. But Luke and I have done this before. Right. Like in... Oh, the date from Friday night was Aries too. Really? Yeah. Like when? I don't remember. So it's not that you don't gel with an Aries. It's just like out of all the signs, it wouldn't put you as like the top connection. Right. But I think since Luke and I in our past lives, and if you're freaked out by that, just move past yeah. Move fast, move on, but we think we've done it before, so it's just like we just find each other. Well, because one of your spiritual advisors yep, said I got those. Said <laughs> said um that you guys have been married like multiple times or what, yeah. what did they say? In they past said, lives. We've been together in past lives. So you guys have times. had it you guys have it figured out. And they say that we find each other earlier every time. That is so sweet. I know. And then there's like a half the population that's like, okay, these people are crazy. I mean, that's fine. That's I mean, fine. you can believe in whatever you want to believe Move in, on. you know? Yeah. Like, so I, I don't know. I have an astrologer. Well, so I saw the astrologer earlier this year because I was struggling a little bit. And you know, she, remember, she told me to stay away from Leos. And all I was meeting all summer were Leos. Leos. All summer. And here's the deal. If you're a Leo, it's not that we don't like you. Our but she just said that I don't mesh with We Leos. don't, like, like, emotionally mesh right. with a Leo. Like, there's plenty of Leos I know, great people. We just don't emotionally and probably sexually mesh. Oh, really? Yeah. Because the guy that I met from New York was a Leo, and we were definitely a sexual match. Yeah. But emotionally, we did not. Oh, my gosh, that's what I was going to tell you. So The sound <laughs> is back. As we were getting ready to film or to tape this morning, I was upstairs changing. Did you hear the sound? Yeah. So I go, Tavia, you would have died last night. So Ben's and I are oh, laying yeah. in bed. Oh, yeah. And then you said, wait, stop talking to me. Right. We've got to stay on the podcast. So Ben's and I were laying in, the bed, in bed last night at like, it was like late, like 1130 midnight. I had taken a shower or whatever. I was laying in bed. <sighs> and I'm like kind of dozing off a little bit as like the TV's on. <laughs> and there is this huge boom. Like huge, like <laughs> the dog... Jumped out of bed. I jumped up. Oh, it was yeah. so loud. I have no idea what it was. I don't uh, even know. Uh, yeah. if you guys, it was so loud and scary. If you guys could see something right here in this in this house, when I look up <laughs> this direction, there's a window, and there looks to be what appears to be a fucking <laughs> grizzly paw of a man hand <laughs> way up there, like two, and then one that's kind of like smeared, as in it was like help, <laughs> like. That one. That's Over accurate. there, you see that one? Yeah. So, so I think to myself, who's the big grizzly ghost man on that ledge? Who's watching me? Who's watching? So I live in a so I live in a, a, a loft, and so I'm on the third third level, and this is a two-story loft, and yeah. so I have 15-foot ceilings. So there's this window up on the top of my my ceiling that Here's you can't me. get to. And Tavia, there are handprints all over it. Like, Everybody but, looks at him and they're like, okay. But it's not like, it's not like a normal size handprint. Right. It is like a it looks large. behemoth, right. grizzly man, yeah. Sasquatch yeah. handprint. And then there is just, there's one that's like, there's a smear. no. Right, yeah. <laughs> the only thing that would be scarier is if it was red. <gasps> <laughs> oh my God. But I think it's on the inside because they clean the outside. But how but do you get up again, there? Again, who was up there? Do you guys have a ladder? How do we get it over here? Then? Oh, no, I don't know. No, I think we just call the 1 800 handyman. And, mm -hmm. like, can you clean my window? No, you hire a window cleaner. For the inside? Yeah. Like For two windows? Three. With your sliding glass doors. Okay. So, anyway, so yeah, so that was the story that I was going to tell you this morning. That is terrifying. I think I covered almost everything that I wanted to talk about. I talked about the boy that is basically rejecting me on Instagram. Uh-huh. I talked about... Checking the timer. The loud noise last night. Yeah. Talked about my date. Updated on that. You're going to um, a getaway this weekend. Yes. I'm going uh, to Copper Mountain, which if you're not from Colorado, it's a ski mountain. I'm going to Steamboat in a couple weeks. <clears throat> For your team, <clears throat> like, building? What is it? Yeah. It's like a team celebration because we rule. Yeah. 
Because we're so awesome at our job. Do you want to say the name of the team? No. Free promotion. No, because remember, we're easing into people like stalking. Oh. Right? Yeah, we have to get every, but we need to get Tavia on board with getting another Instagram. Here's account. the deal. I'm fine. I just like, you know, when you're like, hey, this is where I am. And then like, somebody's like, bah, bah, bah. I don't want to do it. Who's saying that? Have, you, have you ever watched people's like comments? People have no time on their hands and they like say mean so things. So you're scared about the mean comments. Don't be mean. You know what? We don't, we don't, don't be mean. Don't right? be mean. Don't be mean. Find a friend. I've never had a mean comment. Well. Oh. Uh, mm. I don't know, but I think don't that. Don't come from. I think that I, I think that people, they, uh, what you have to understand is I think that when people are making mean comments like that, they are insecure about they're themselves sad. and they're jealous. You and know? you know what they need? A therapist. 2020. Fine. A therapist. We're going to get Tavia on Instagram. On, like, well, I'm on account. Instagram. Should we shout out your handle? <laughs> She's gonna... Private. We're going to get her a public Instagram. Who's going to manage know, it? If you don't know, mine is Collins Cosmos. Collins Cosmos. At Collins Cosmos. Twitter, Instagram. You can just shout me there. <laughs> yeah, sure. We're going to get her on board. Um, you know what I have going on because your life is so wild. I'm planning a birthday party. For who? My child. It's Ariel, mermaid theme. <gasps> really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This weekend. And it's this weekend? Yeah. And, and you're just now planning it? It's expensive. It's Thursday. No, I know. I sent out the invitations, but I had to get the cake last night because I kind of forgot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia, mommy, sorry. Savvy. Oh. Savvy. Mommy, sorry. Wait, I thought you had hers last weekend. No, we went to a party last weekend. Oh my god, I can't I keep it all straight. I, I spent thousands of dollars on birthday presents in a year. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're doing Ariel theme. We got a cake. Where Mermaid. Did we get the cake from? Is it like a she cake from like with King Supers? Ariel on it. Yeah, shout okay. out to King Supers Bakery. <laughs> and then what else are we doing? Like, are we doing? I'm not doing party favors. I feel like that's, we had this conversation the other yeah. day. She said that there's party favors at these like little, oh, you're doing it at some play Gymnastics place. Gymnastics right? place, yeah. Okay. Listen, your party favors, you got invited. Right, yeah, exactly. I don't think that Did you know little kids need party favors. After a certain number of kids, like I think the max was like 18 kids. After 18 kids, I have to pay $15 a kid. That's a lot. I didn't read that in the contract. Oh no, how many did you invite? And I invited all of Sav's class, which was 20. Okay. And then I invited my friend group that's got the little kids, and they're 10. Oh, this is going to be This is not party. good. Daddy is not happy because he's like, what? And I was like, <sighs> and you know that there, there's people that come that don't RSVP. So right now, right now, I think I have 18. Oh, so we're fine. Except when I left the school today, the director was like, oh, we'll be there. And I was like, oh, no, that's two more. That's $30. <laughs> It's but you know people are going to cancel, like people, not everybody that says they're going to come is going to come. Yeah. Only Cro one can wish. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers, this birthday party is going to turn into like a $500 experience. Alright, um, well our time is up. God, these, these things just go so fast, don't they? I know, I just, I feel like hopefully, yeah. <laughs> we did great. I hope I didn't touch my hair as much. I think we're we're getting better. We're getting I don't know. Better. This is only our this second is take, round. Yeah, this is this is number two. Yeah. Stick with us. It's with only us. gonna get better. Hit that subscribe button. Do the the here. Yeah, and whatever else. How do you subscribe to like on Spotify? I think you follow, right? I don't we're on have, Spotify. I now. don't have Spotify. We're we're trying to get on iTunes. Anyway, we're I'm all over the internet. I'm trying to get into it. Like I, I'm trying. Like I'm not as. I don't tweet. Right. Well, do you, by the end of the year, you're gonna have a full blown Twitter account you're gonna an instagram <laughs> okay it's gonna be crazy thank you so much for joining us uh that's we how hope the you enjoyed. cookie crumbles that's how the cookie crumbles. is that what we're going with yeah all right thank you so much for joining us join us next week for the next episode it goes up every tuesday morning at 6 a.m mountain standard time do you get up to do that no i hate okay, okay. <laughs> i schedule it i do not get up to do that mm -hmm. um so yeah join us on the next one thank you for joining us on this one and stay fresh colorado <laughs> all right we'll talk to you later <laughs> bye